We stayed on site, on site of the hospital late into the night yesterday. We could talk to the director of the hospital. He was uh, giving us an idea as, uh, as to just how dear the situation was on site. 2,000 rescuers were working. They were still working with the help of uh, a construction site lights. Uh, last night, we don't have any update on more uh, possible uh, victims. You mentioned uh, the figure of 37 victims for uh, the entirety of Ukraine. In that hospital, there's two doctors uh, who, who died. One of them was was actually uh, helping all the patients, so the young patients, the children, to go uh, into a basement, into a shelter, and she went back up to to see if there were any children left, and that's when the missile struck, and that's where uh, that's where she she died. So the situation uh, was one of utter destruction yesterday. Um, it was very hard to see people in Kyiv also being uh, absolutely grief-stricken. And today it is uh, uh, has been declared a mourning day uh, all across Ukraine because, as you mentioned, it's not just this uh, children hospital uh, that has been hit. There's also um, a maternity cleaning that has been hit elsewhere in Kiev with seven people dead. We know uh, now that uh, among those seven people, there are five uh, uh, people belonging to medical personnel. Uh, to uh, patients. Uh, so uh, another uh, reason for grief here in Kyiv and four other cities were also hit. Dnipro, Kriviri, the native city of President Zelensky, where 10 people died. Slobyansk and Kramatorsk in Donetsk uh, Oblast. So um, a lot uh, a lot of uh, sadness here in Kyiv, a lot of anger as well, uh, because this is clearly seen as an attack on civilian infrastructures and uh, as a clear war crime. And the attack comes as uh, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky heads to Washington for a NATO summit. Uh, what will he be asking of um, his NATO allies there in Washington? Well, he's going to be asking what Ukraine has been uh, asking uh, from its allies from day one. It is more uh, more air defense systems to secure its skies because there are uh, there are air defense systems that have been sent to Ukraine and uh, uh, they are efficient, but they are not sufficient. Uh, we've seen it happening uh, time and again in the cities of Kharkiv, in the cities of Kherson, uh, that are being hit uh, day in day out by gliding by glide bombs. By by uh, missiles, by drones, simply because there are not sufficient air defense systems to close the sky, as uh, we say here in Ukraine. So that will be uh, uh, probably uh, discussed uh, uh, by uh, Volodymyr Zelensky with its allies. He also called uh, for an emergency uh, meeting of the UN Security Council to discuss this attack in particular on the Children's Hospital here in Kiev. But we have to keep in mind that the UN Security Council is currently led by Russia, the aggressor of Ukraine. So uh, this is uh, probably also something that's going to be uh, discussed. And of course, there are high hopes uh, here following uh, some declarations of U.S. officials uh, uh, that there will be uh, more announces uh, favorable to Kiev from uh, NATO members as to aid package, military uh, equipment being sent to Ukraine. That's what people here are expecting.